What's up, YouTube? So after a long, 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 long wait, uh, I finally got my Invisalign in today. Now I did mine through Smile Direct Club, and I know that I've heard a lot of differences between Smile Direct Club and Invisalign. Even though it's apparently they're the same entity, just different way of going about it. I'm not sure, but. Without further ado, I'm gonna jump right in. This is my unboxing slash little small explanation of what I got. So here we go. All right, our backdrop here is gonna be a little fishy. So this is the box from Smile Direct Club. That's the box that it came in. I'm gonna leave him over to the side. So this is the box. Up here on the front, you have a little magnetic strip. I'm gonna pop it open and lay that back it actually has a pretty nice little display here which is pretty impressive um up here at the top we have a little booklet that has actually i think it had this in it yeah so this is a little booklet it was tucked away in there it just says clear aligner guide so it's your little instructional booklet for everything in the box kind of set it over to the side uh welcome to the club set it over to the side so once this is emptied, I think I got everything out of here. Yep, okay. So once this is emptied, we have a couple of things here to look at. Number one is our retainer box. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, so this is our retainer box. It's padded on the inside with some grip so it doesn't slide around. This is for whenever you are going out to eat, um, not for going to bed, but very small portions of time that you would take it out. That's gonna keep that protected and not keep it wrapped up grossly on the table in a napkin. Number two, oh, smile stretcher, I already did that. Anyway, number two, we have a little thing of lip, lip balm. This just kind of threads on. There we go. Yep, there's a lip balm. Maybe it goes for the inside for the gums also. I'll probably experiment around with it and figure it out. Honestly, I haven't even read the booklet. I just opened this. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Thread this back on. All right, pop that in place. We have three little syringes of Bright On. From my understanding, this is similar to like a little lightning tray thing. Um, I'll let you know more about that if I open it up. Here we have a little pick. You can see the little tooth on the end. I think that one's for pushing, this one's for pulling. The pick is designed to safely get the tray out without bending it. Um, I've been told that it's a very tight fit and that it can be pretty good difficult to get the trays out sometimes. So there's a little pick for that. Set it over. And then we have a file. Now these are the trays are 3D printed. Sometimes they're not exactly perfect. So the purpose of this, file it down a little bit if you feel it pushing into your gum, just to try to make the process a little smoother week to week. <clears throat> Over here we have a little free sample of mints. That's nice. Sugar-free spearmint, because apparently you can't really have sugar if you're, which I, I don't suppose you should be chewing these anyway if you're having retainers in. Take your retainer out to chew gum and then put the retainer back in. And this is a, uh, it says, I'm feeling fizzy. It's a pack of four. I'm not really sure why they gave four when there are a bunch of trays, but you put this in a cup of water, let it dissolve with your tray and it's gonna clean your retainer or I guess that's what it's called. I'm not sure. Now on to the main event. This guy right here. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Patience, fellow grinner. Only pull one at a time. So I was thinking that it would just be like a big giganto box, but it seems like they actually have them in order week to week to week. So you just pull one, tear it, pull one, tear it. Let's see what's back here, if anything. Okay, so there's a the smile stretcher. Uh, I actually already have one from earlier in the process. Whenever you first decide that you want to do it, they give you the 
first one um, as part of the molding kit. I think I paid like $29.99 and I got the first little thing. That's when I first figured out my teeth mold and then I sent it in to them. So it's been probably four weeks since I've gotten, since I sent my stuff back in. So in total, it was probably about a month. All right, so I, like many of you, I'm sure, I looked at many videos on about how to do the retainers. Uh, one of the videos I looked at said five things I wish I knew whenever I started <clears throat> to do the aligners. I'm gonna go ahead and tear off the first one here. One of them was that they were so excited whenever the stuff came in that they just went ahead and, and put it in their mouth. Now, I'm told that the first maybe solid week, maybe more, is the most painful. Like very, very, very painful. Which that's kind of how it goes when it's with your teeth. A small amount of pain can be very, very distracting. So they said if they had to do it again, they would have waited until nighttime, put it in and then maybe by the time the pain has moved on, they would have slept. I was in a debate for that for a while, and uh, now that it's come upon that time, I have a job interview tomorrow. So I decided I would rather be conscious with pain than risk staying up all night with tooth pain and then do terribly tomorrow. So here's our first hack. Um, yeah, custom made. It says uh, week one. 22 hours a day aligner number one so i'm gonna go and tear this open and we're gonna see how it looks all right <clears throat> oh and just a quick background so this is my starting teeth what i'm most subconscious about is this gap right here okay and you can see i'm gonna look in the camera so i, I won't really look at you but this tooth here has actually rotated away, which has created this gap. So my goal with the aligners is to take this gap, push them together, and my secondary goal is to take my bottom teeth, yep, and I wanna push those forward some. So I wanna straighten these and close this gap because whenever I smile regularly, I'm relatively confident but if I do like a half smile like this, I feel like the contrast between my mouth and the gap is more pointed. So that bothers me to no end. So this is my upper aligner. I thought it would be maybe a little more transparent, um, but it isn't. So this is the size little dip in my gum there and there we go let's see if we can make it focus so this is my top you can also see by this angle my front teeth you can see they come forward a little bit i think it's supposed to be more straight so it's not supposed to do that my bottom row you can actually see what i was telling you about see how those front teeth My camera likes me, it doesn't want to focus on this. But uh, let's try this. Okay. The front teeth, you can see how they kind of dive down a little bit. So let's see if we can wrestle these things on. <laughs> My molars are pretty crooked too. Okay. Good grief. That is tight. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. You know when you have something in your teeth and 
you feel like pressure from tooth to tooth. That's how it feels on every single tooth right now. Like, when I started pressing it, I have a little bit of a list, but whenever I started pressing it, it got a little tighter and then tighter and tighter. And every time I pressed it, it like intensified. Right now, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like someone is wrestling the teeth out of my mouth. So, this is weird. All right, so here we go. You yeah, might be able to hear it click. Like every time I push up, it's gripping onto my tooth further. Okay. So they're always seated. Can't really, um... Okay, whenever I try to close my mouth, it's knocking right here. It's hitting. But maybe it'll get worse. <laughs> I'm trying to solve my spit. Maybe it'll get worse if I do my bottom. So here's my bottom. Uh huh. Don't want to go. Come on. Okay. Mm. This is very, very tight. Okay, so for a minute there, I thought it wasn't gonna go, but I had to man it on. I don't think it's on all the way either. Oh, okay, just popped out. All right, here. Yeah, okay. All right, time out. All right, went to the bathroom, got it going, straightened it out back in. I'm going to give it a few minutes and then do a follow-up. So here we go. Okay, so update video. I noticed a lot of people didn't do this. They just did the unboxing. Um, they said the first few hours are the most uncomfortable. I've worn them for probably four or five hours at this point. I did have a healthy distraction earlier because I went and worked out. Um, so this is my five, six hour update. Uh, the number one thing that bothered me immediately is the fact that, and you can hear it now, my bottom row, if this is my tooth on each side, then this line goes along the tooth and then it lips inward, which I suppose is designed to not irritate the actual gum. So it gets off the gum. The issue is maybe it's just like English language, I'm not sure, but my tongue naturally rakes across the bottom of my teeth. So, this is terrible, but you can't, you can't actually see it. My tongue is constantly hitting that lip and it's literally like dismantling the bottom row. The first, actually when I was recording the first video, I was like popping it out of my mouth by accident. Um, and it hurt my heart to have to like take a pair of scissors to thousand dollar piece of plastic. But the two things I did, for one, I took that inner lip, my little picture here, I took and I clipped it off so it was less invasive. And the second thing I did on my molar here, my tongue was constantly hitting the corner at which the Invisalign stopped. So the Invisalign stopped and went over the tooth and it created a sharp corner. My tooth was hitting, my tongue was hitting that a lot. I literally just cut that whole corner off. Wishing I had done it sooner, because now I already have like a nice cut along my tongue that is still there, even though there's no longer plastic. But it is a lot more comfortable. The pain is just now starting to set in five hours later. I mean, the pain is like a subtle teeth movement feeling. I'm feeling it dominantly in this tooth, which I didn't realize is apparently a little forward. Um, but apparently it is. Now that I'm feeling it, I noticed it probably actually is. So it's, it gave kind of a buck tooth effect. So it's kind of shifting it back some in this one. And 
but my big issue with my gap, I don't feel anything in it yet, so fingers crossed I'm um, feeling that misery. That's one thing I wouldn't mind being miserable about, because I just want it gone. I don't care if it hurts, I want it gone. I did use my little tooth hook for the first time earlier. Super convenient. Pop it right out. Uh, and my little caddy thing, I finally looked at the directions and I found out that not only is it a little thing, but here on the bottom, it has a little rotary mirror. So, yeah. Nice. Did my makeup, my teeth at the same time. And, uh,. Already in my kit, I've lost two things to my wife. For one, I'm, I'm losing my lip balm, which is probably fair because I've never actually used lip balm before, and she does. So I'll lose this. And the second thing, we're gonna rock, paper, scissors over who gets to use all of our teeth whitening things. You unscrew it, and it does that little brush, that brushy, brushy, brushy thing. Like in the little, is it Pinterest that does it? Or YouTube? They always have the little advertisement where they like white over the teeth. Clearly it's like CGI and fake, like your teeth aren't gonna get that white that quickly. But it comes with like four things and each one has four uses. So it's nice that they throw that in. You know, it makes you feel like you're getting a little more for your money. But uh, that concludes my First, my box opening, my little follow-up. Um, I've been given the green light on this channel. This channel is primarily fitness and entertainment. But I've been given the green light to do some more videos on the Invisalign. So if this seems like something you're curious in, you're on the fence about it, uh, I'll give you a, a genuinely honest opinion about it. So feel free to follow and uh, I'll probably give another update in a week. Unless something like magnificent happens or it's just so painful, or whatever, I might do a little quicker update. But um, like I said, this channel is primarily fitness, entertainment, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of humor. Um, so if that's something you're into, then you know, feel free to subscribe and stick around and I'm sure you'll see some videos that you like. But in the meantime, oh, I'm falling. In the meantime, thank you for joining in. If you have any other questions and you do see this, uh, I check my YouTube like every day. So comment down below any questions you have and I'll I'll get back to you and I'll answer you honestly. So until then, stay safe.